everybody, this is Corey at More Music and MoreGuitars.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I would like to talk to you a little bit about the Fender Player Mustang. This is a PJ Mustang. It's not your daddy's Mustang in that it has been uh, upgraded a little bit from the old design. This is a Mexican May guitar. This one happens to be in a beautiful age natural. It features an alder body. You can see a really nice, uh, warm, rustic look to this. Uh, beautiful wood grain. It also features a maple neck with a Pau Ferro fingerboard. It has vintage style P bass and jazz bass pickups. It does feature a three-way toggle to give you a selection of either the P bass pickup, both pickups together, or the jazz bass pickups. It is a passive instrument, so no batteries are required. It, it has a volume control and a tone control, which is a treble roll-off, which is very typical, and an output jack, all placed on the top side of the instrument. Also features a metal uh, plate, so you don't have to worry about uh, the, like on the old ones, the pick guard breaking off where the, uh, where the output jack is and where the controls are, which I think is a really nice feature. Uh, I love short scale instruments. This happens to be one. It is a 30 inch scale instrument, so that's from the nut to the bridge. A lot of guitar players are going to find this very comfortable uh, to transition from guitar to bass if you're looking to expand uh, your recording setup or whatever with, a, uh, with more bass sounds. You don't have to rely on a pedal. You can get a short scale bass guitar. It's going to feel really, really comfortable to you. The notes are going to be right under your fingers just, just like normal. Uh, does feature some lightweight tuners. This is a really nice tuner set on here um, with the big keys. Very familiar if you're familiar with Fender style uh, bass guitars. The 30 inch scale gives you a little slinkier feel. This happens to be uh, strung with 45 to 105 Fender uh, nickel steel strings. They're nice and bright, uh, do have a, a brightish vintage sound to them. Um, great guitar. This would sound really great with a set of flat wounds. I love short scales with flat wounds. You get a little bit more of the fundamental, uh, a little less of the overtones. Um, definitely worth something, worth checking out. The uh, P-Bass pickup on here is very large sounding. It is, has kind of that 70s woolly sound to it. Um, think, uh, think classic rock tones. Also uh, great for blues, country, uh, and whatnot. More um, of the, uh, the American forms of, of music uh, are very well served using the precision bass pickup. The jazz bass pickup is a little bit tighter sounding. It's got a more focused top end, not quite the roundness in the bottom end that the jazz that the precision bass pickup has, but definitely something that will cut through a band scenario uh, and give you some really nice tones. Slap and pop, uh, that zing that you want out of pick tones, nice thing to add into it. So I'm gonna go through the three pickup settings um, with the tone rolled all the way up, that would be full treble, and then with the tone rolled back just a little bit, and we'll take a listen to some of the sounds. Here is the precision bass pickup. with the tone control rolled back. All right, very vintage sounding. Okay, here is the jazz bass pickup with the, with the treble control rolled up. with the treble control rolled back. Both pick
pickups together. Now treble control rolled off. I know in, in most settings I would probably have this uh, in the middle setting, get a little bit of bite from the jazz bass pickup, uh, a lot of that roundness from the P bass pickup. Uh, personally for my style of playing, um, kind of an old school player, I would roll the tone control back about 30%. Here's that tone. great guitar from Fender. Check it out, the Fender Player Series Mustang PJ Bass. Get it at moreguitars.com. Call us, text us, 1-888-794-8482. We're always here to talk to you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.